Southern Belize is in the grip of a wildfire crisis as raging infernos tear through communities, decimating crops, displacing wildlife, and leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. Last week, recognizing the urgent need for coordinated efforts to combat the infernos, the National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, took decisive action and convened an emergency meeting with key stakeholders. Captain Daniel Mendez, National Emergency Coordinator, says the plan was then devised to combat the fires. When we received the information last week, we immediately activated the Toledo Emergency Operations Center uh, and began that process of conducting assessments to determine really what was happening. So those were the emergency meetings that were held. We needed to determine uh, our actions, uh, our next action steps, and to develop our plan of how we would be addressing and assisting in this uh, in this situation. Um, so since then, we have been ongoing on operations. The wildfires have proven difficult to contain, and the flames have engulfed vast swaths of land. Fortunately, the chairman of San Pedro Colombia Village, Basilica Stroco, says that with the assistance of countless residents, the fires in his community have begun to subside. The fire that is arriving in the community, that was arriving in the community, has been um, under control now um, because of the, I would say, hundreds of volunteers in the community that comes out during the day and night now. Um, majority of the fire was um, turned off in the night by, by farmers, ladies, um, we have children. Um, men out of, out of from, from young to old and everybody helps to go to even to backwater and so um, until we did it, the village took control of the fire. Firefighters and residents have been aided by personnel from various agencies like the Ministry of Infrastructure Development and Housing. Engineering coordinator Evan Dale Moody noted that while it took the ministry a bit of time, it was able to mobilize heavy machinery to the area. Over the weekend, we have lend support to Nemo with the provision of a, of a water truck. And they're also asking us to provide a bulldozer to help them um, in, the, in the illumination of this fire as best as we can. So we're ready and we're on standby to, to assist them as best as we can as a ministry. The devastating flames have fanned out to the Columbia Forest Reserve, posing a great threat to the protected area's wildlife. Minister of Sustainable Development Orlando Hobet says several NGOs are now also pitching in to lessen the destruction. We have uh, NGOs, yes, share tide. Um, I understand uh, we have participation from Monkey River, Mon Monkey Bay Resort, and um, they are all they bring in their teams who have been trained to do fire fight firefighting, especially forest fires. Um, and so the forest department, along with all the teams and Nemo, they are out there. Nemo mostly assisting with supplies and looking for housing uh, supplies when, when needed, and the others looking to see how they can arrest the fires along with the community leaders and the community as a whole. The fires have been fueled by dry conditions and harmful farming practices, which ironically displaced numerous farmers. Choco told us that in his village, several persons lost not only their crops, but their homes. A lot of farmers lost, um, especially cacao farms. A lot of farmers lost their cacao farms. Um, we have some that lost their, their, their corn, which is some of them already, um, they are already, um, harvest and put into the little bit. Our farmers usually have their little patch in their farm and they usually pack their corn there. Some of them have that already and it's burned down and their corns are burning it. Um, Others did not um, have the time to break their corn. It was still standing in the on the, on the, on the trees and it was burned down. And uh, we have uh, other crops uh, because of the the distance. The fire came. Now it came very 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 close to the community. In light of the emergency and growing concerns for the safety and well-being of residents, Nima will continue to coordinate with the affected communities. Vigilvers, Love News.